Hey, it's Matt here. And okay, my voice is a little scratchy because I just finished doing an amazing webinar. This webinar went almost two hours. And it was a webinar that I did particularly with one person, one affiliate. You've heard of the concept JV webinars, right? JV meaning joint venture. And this was one of our affiliates. And he, uh, I, I did, uh, he did a presentation for my audience a few weeks ago. I did one for his just now. And here's the thing. I'm not going to call out any names, but this one webinar, we made more sales on this one webinar than we've ever made on a webinar in the past. Same presentation, some minor tweaks, but trust me, these tweaks were not the difference. And uh, some just like a few minor tweaks that we made, but mostly this was because of four things that the affiliate did. And that's what I want to share with you today. I want to share with you how to make the most of these webinars. When you get an opportunity to host somebody else as an affiliate, as a JV, I want to tell you how to make the most of them. And there's four things that this guy did that I want to share with you. Now, if you're looking for some awesome affiliate promos, make sure you go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. All of our recommended programs are there all of our launches that we have coming up that we're running and others that we recommend all at mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. And hey, you know, there might be an opportunity there to do some of these webinars that we're talking about. So again, specifically, we're talking about when you host a webinar as an affiliate, as a JV partner with somebody else. Now on the flip side, if you're doing the webinars, you can ask your partner to do these four things. These were game changers. Now, I said we had the most number of sales that we've ever had in a webinar, and I can promise you we did not have the most number of people on. We had a good number, a healthy number of people on, but it wasn't even close to being the most we've ever had. And a number of sales, it, wasn't even, it was no contest. We closed, oh gosh, well over 20% of, of attendees. That's, that's unbelievable for us. Typically, we're in like the 10 to 13% range. Yeah, there's some stuff we can do to make that better. But these were four things that this guy did that just made, I mean, like unbelievable, right? So the first thing he did was he showed up. And my first tip is be present. It's, it's easy just to say, hey, this guy's going to give a presentation and then pass him off. That's easy. Uh, no doubt about it. That's a lot easier. And the biggest difference between this webinar and the most recent couple that we did with somebody else was he was on the webinar. He was there. He got there 10, 15 minutes early. It was, we were chatting together. We were asking where people were from. He was participating and he introduced me. So just being present was huge. And then he, he joined at the end and we'll talk about that in a little bit. The second thing was he said nice things about me. You know, so I would say, say nice things about the person. He introduced me and, and the story he told basically was, hey, you know, we've been friends for a while. Here's how we met. I saw this guy in some affiliate leaderboards and I reached out and was like, I need to get to know you. And every time I talk to Matt, I leave with like five things that I have to implement right then. I mean, he, like, that's a pre-frame, right? He pre-framed me as this big expert, like, oh my gosh, I, I can't imagine being in the audience going, like, I got to hear from this guy. And he said a lot of nice things about me. He told how in his course, there he does a brief thing about affiliate marketing. And one of the things he says is, hey, I'm not going to take a deep dive into affiliate marketing, so go sign up for Matt McWilliams' list. Like, that's how he framed me. How can I not sell to his audience, right? It was, quite frankly, it was kind of easy. And then the third thing is he offered a specific bonus. Wasn't a huge bonus. Wasn't the thousands of dollars bonus. I had plenty of bonuses on the webinar. He said, hey, you're on. I'm the guy that you came through. I'm the guy that you follow. If you join right now, I'm going to throw in this bonus. Here's the thing. Remember something. This is key. Your audience follows you. They are your fan. And while the affiliate offer might be great, there's nothing like getting something from you. And so what he did was he shared, I won't give it away in its entirety, but he shared something that he uses himself, just a list that he put together. He's never sold it, never shared it. Took him no time to, you know, he just basically said, hey, if you buy, send me an email. Matt will send me a list and I'll send you this. 
I don't know the value of it, probably $50 to $100, but it's something that's not available anywhere else. And that might be something that you could do. Like you might have a, let's just say you're in the fitness industry and you have a, a specific, you know, like you have something you've never sold before that's specifically for runners and you could give that to them. Uh, you know, maybe you're a, you know, you're a chef. I don't know. You sell, you know, you're a chef and you say, you know, here are 10 recipes that like, I'm still trying out myself. I've never put them on my website, but you'll get them. You'll get first access to these. Just some ideas there. So have a specific bonus. And then the fourth thing is he repeated the offer. Now he didn't go to through slide by slide. I wasn't like clicking slides from, he just said, guys, I just want to point out again, what Matt has said, and you're going to get this and this, and oh my gosh, you're going to get this. Like, I want that, right? And you're going to get this, this, and this. He repeated the offer. Very simple technique that worked. So he, he showed up. He was present. He said a lot of nice things about me and really pre-framed me so that when I started talking, people were on the edge of their seat. He had that specific bonus, and he repeated the offer. I can't remember what number four was. Like, what was the fourth thing he did? Anyway, he repeated the offer. So those are the four things that you can do as an affiliate. Now, if, you, if you're not at the level where people are like, hey, will you host a webinar with me? You know what you can still do is you can do the pre-frame. You, know, you can get, you can really pre-frame people on the, you know, for the webinar. The second thing you can do is offer your own specific bonus. And say, so, you know, again, that's a little bit tough, but it, something that you can do potentially with the replay is, is probably the better way to do it there. You can repeat the offer, you know, in email and you can even be present. You can even, you know, say, Hey, we're going to do a, a live chat over here for people in my audience. There's all types of things you can do. But as, like I said, if you're running the webinar, ask your partner, ask your affiliate to do at least some of those things. I'm telling you, based on my results, it will make all the difference in the world. So if you have a question for me, I've been getting a lot of questions about webinars lately. And if you have a question for me, just go to asktheaffiliateguide.com and I will answer your question right here. I'll see you in the next episode.